Beverly, why are we so happy? Listen. And there you are. I can't hear anything. I can hear birds out that way somewhere chasing fishing boats. I can hear I can hear the sound of breakers on um, Ballyteague Bay, uh, which to be honest looks like a wrecking shore when you uh, see it. Um, but we're sailing and it's so lovely. We've got the sails out. The wind is very, very light, but we're blessed that it's coming from just the right direction to go very, very close hauled. And uh, so we're adding our three knots of speed to the five knot wind and getting eight, nine knots of wind. Yeah, it's great. It's lovely. It's quiet. It's sunny. It's everything I want in a sail. My absolute total peace was just wrecked. I heard this crash and I was like, oh, 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 what on earth is that? But <laughs> we just hadn't closed one of the hatches uh, just above the toilet, that was all. But honest to goodness, I'm just like, oh. It's my fault, I'm the one who I was supposed to secure it. <sighs> oh, dears, well, it is both our responsibilities but regardless it was just the fact that was like perfect peace and then all of a sudden a crash are you enjoying the seal oh bev yeah but um one of the reasons that um when you're doing a sail like this that you might not make it quite right is um what speed are we doing at the moment bev uh it's hard to see through your murky glasses uh 3.7 <laughs> 3.7 knots. Yeah, I know they're your glasses, they're filthy. <laughs> 3.7. Yeah, so 3.7. So whereas when we were on engine, you can always hit your five knots. Whereas on sailing, no, just go with the flow, girls. It's so much and nicer. boys. It's so much nicer. It is so much nicer. It's sunny and yeah, it's slower, but who cares? Take the slow road, that's what we say. Annie's all right, but sometimes she chunners a lot. This was one of the days she was chunnering a lot. I mean, it's so nice and quiet. It's peaceful. And it's one of those days where you have to stop chewing your biscuit because your teeth are too loud. So I'm just going to relax, enjoy the silence. Well, the wind is highly variable. It's uh, come round from that direction to more over that direction, which is pushing us into the bay, which is not where we want to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten sail on the Genoa so we can heave to, go around that way, do the heave to. Uh, at the minute we're sailing under one reef in the main and we've decided to put the, uh, the full sail up. So we're going to heave to, pull the sail up, and then when the full sail's up, we'll complete the tack go out that way for a bit and then that will give us the ability to go around hook head at a better angle so mm. to summarize it's shorten the jenny because you can't heave to this boat on a, on a 125 percent genoa it just it's, <laughs> it's okay on a what i'd class as a jib um which is 100 percent but 125 is just too much so we took a we took a reef in we'll reduce the uh we'll reduce the jenny down to jib size then we can heave to sort the main out then we can complete our tack we'll be on the other tack going south at the minute we're going slightly north of west and then we'll stay on that for a bit until we can uh, make it round who can that is the plan let's see what happens <laughs> yeah but we're going at 2.6 knots so uh yeah, we well, definitely we... need more sail okay well let me get the genoa sorted <laughs> i'm just gonna let that fly for a minute 
Do you want me to pull anything? Uh, I think I'll be fine. The, the wind isn't too extreme at the minute, is it? No, it's not. Come on. Oh, I've got it. You need a little bit more of that out, yeah? Right, okay, one, three. three. Okay. Turning line out of the way. General line ready on that side. So Beverly's just sorted out the family there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So everything is now ready. Okay, tacking! <laughs> so she'll sure be pulling the uh, main in. Well, I think it will bring itself over to be honest. Duck! And now I'm putting the wheel on the other way. Yeah. And there also needs to come out. Go down below the others. Right. Okay. okay. Topping lift looks nice and nice. Uh, yeah, a slight tangle on the red. There we go. Sure it'll sort itself out. Sort itself out, I suspect. Okay, let's get this uh, away. So our speed has dropped to 1.8 knots. That's because the speed, the wind has dropped to 8.9 knots. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the journey fly and complete, okay? Okay, so... You've got nothing to do, I don't think. <laughs> no, I don't think I have. Uh, you just have to unreverse your, your rudder's oh. reversed. the <laughs> That would be good. It would, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, once well, she's underway, I'll get everything sorted. Bring us round far south as you can. Right. <sighs> right, well, I think Annie can go back on. Can't, what's the speed of the uh, wind? Um, 11.2 knots. Okay. And Annie is back on the job. Alright, I'm just going to ease the Jenny out. Our autopilot is... Uh, uh, that's increased our speed to 2.9 knots. Yeah, fair days. Needs to loosen up a bit. Three point two knots. Right. So cheating in has increased our speed dramatically. Always good to plan. Uh huh. <sighs> we are, however, going um, south. I would say south south east. <laughs> I would say so, yeah, but you've got to expect that, haven't you? Yeah, so we're kind of going backwards, but <sighs> well, we've um, we've uh, done it this way because we're hoping that we've done a lot of what's called lee bowing, and we yes. have got an episode on that. The tide should be coming from that side of the boat, pushing us that way. <sighs> so even though we're going slightly southeast, we're hoping the tide will compensate by pushing us west, yeah. and we'll wind up going straight south. And in about half an hour we can do another turn and it's okay. Yes. Or thereabouts. That's the plan. <laughs> well at the moment we are sailing um, close hauled and uh, we're doing a cracking job. We're not going very fast at the moment. 3.2 knots. 3.2 so not an awful lot but the uh, courtesy flag is showing exactly where the wind is going and it's right there in the slot and um, it's really giving a good impression of what the wind is doing and how you can use the two 
sails to basically make an aerofoil. How come I got the grey skies that are behind you and you've got blue skies? <gasps> I'm just lucky. But it's practically champagne sailing. I mean, say, come on, we can get our uh, champagne flutes out any second now. We don't have any. No, I know we don't, but the only problem is we're still in our mullions because it's still cold. But <laughs> at least the sun is turning up. the anchor I took a transit with some pots and a mark in the shore and a green buoy and um, a, build, a building over there and I applied the power and none of the things moved out of alignment with each other so to me that says the anchor has bit. Uh, they've moved out of alignment with each other now because the weight of the chain has now fell to the seabed and pulled the boat forward but that's perfectly normal we get that all the time. Yeah. Uh, so we're in and it's time to tidy the boat up. Absolutely so that's what we're going to do now and Start by turning the cameras off. That's a good idea. Well, this is uh, Dunmore East, and um, we're anchored uh, just outside the harbour. You've got the harbour behind me with all the fishing boats, um, and then on this side, you've got the village. Um, and um, just over there you have lots and lots of uh, mooring boys and you can contact the local yacht club about talking to them uh, however um, if you're in settled conditions like we are at the moment uh, you can anchor just outside the village and that's what we've decided to do um, I just want to get back to sailing and anchoring that's what I want to do uh, but regardless of what I want to do um, I had a phone call um, on the way over uh, to Dunmore East and it looks like I'm going to have to go back to Liverpool. Um, my mum's not very well, um, so I've got to go. At the end of the day, family is very important to us. So what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to go up the river because um, there I can catch a train um, to Dublin and I can be off on my merry may and back to England. Oh, what fun and games.